Someone at work ate my sandwich. This is a fire sandwich. We have Rachel English triple pie. No wonder why Joey don't share food. How good is that? What's going on guys? It's Dr. Hobbs and today I have a very special video because I'm about to eat all the food of my favorite show of all time, which is Friends. I was literally learning how to speak English watching that show growing up. Actually not growing up, I was very grown. Grade 11, I started learning English in Lebanon and then they told me to watch the show Friends. I started watching a couple episodes and then I fell in love with the show. I love it so much that I watched the whole thing back and forth five times. And it's my favorite show of all time. Literally, there's not one show that is better than Friends. And the favorite part is they're coming with a reunion. Like tomorrow, the day after, Friends cast decided to do their reunion. I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna be literally watching it. I was so excited because every time I go to YouTube, there's some fake trailer of the Friends reunion over the years. And it's finally time for the real one. I am super excited to eat all the food they ate during the show. From season one till season 10, I'm gonna eat every single thing they eat. And there's some iconic scenes that is all around about food and I'm super stoked to have it because I already did all my research. I'm so ready to eat every single thing they eat in Friends. And let's start with the banger that Ross's eats and we're gonna have it as breakfast. We're gonna be having Ross's favorite sandwich because in the show, after Thanksgiving, Monica made a sandwich for Ross and he goes to work, put it in the fridge and then his coworkers told his sandwich. Someone at work ate my sandwich. And he makes a big scene out of it. If you know the show, you know the scene. For the few people that aren't a fan of the show Friends, it's okay. Just watch the video and be on for the ride because they eat a lot of weird stuff. There's a lot of weird foods. Like I can't get myself to comprehend how they ate this during the show. And as you speak right now, my mom is baking something Rachel attempted to cook during the show and it was a disaster. My mom is trying to do that and recreate the exact same thing. But for now, let's make Ross's sandwich of course because it's thanksgiving you know so there's some My thanksgiving leftover sandwich i'm gonna put it on the sandwich you know the thanksgiving vibe now i know they love their turkey on thanksgiving so i got this beautiful turkey breast right here i'm gonna put it on top oh my god it looks already amazing ross was stressing a lot during the show about this and he dips it in gravy i'm about to do the same thing as they did they dip their bread in the gravy oh my god a gravy toast right here on top of everything and then now another layer of turkey on top of this they put a little bit of jam you know because the thanksgiving vibe just like so and ladies and gentlemen we have ross thanksgiving leftover sandwich from Monica Geller. And I'm actually excited to try it. I've never had something like this before. My first for sure. I'm way more excited that it's from the show. Man, this is an honor. Here we go. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Now I see why he was so pissed when they took a sandwich at work. This is a fire sandwich, Loki. Yo, the gravy made such a big impact. Oh my God. Gravy fall. Oh, come on. Oh my God. That's a big a gravy bite. Mmm. That's a 10 out of 10 sandwich, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm about to make this at home every single day. Gravy with ham, mm, mm. I should have been doing that. This is such a banger, oh my god. We're starting the video with such a good sandwich and we have a bunch of food to eat. Now there's an episode where Chandler and Rachel kick it and bond a lot. It's when the cheesecake falls on the ground and they eat it and start eating it on the ground. This is one of my favorite parts of the show. It's literally when I thought that Rachel and Chandler are boys, are friends together. And it is time to recreate that scene. Not really recreate it, but I got the exact same cheesecake they use in the show. I did a lot of research, folks. I know my food and I got the same exact cheesecake. I'm about to open it right now. Pop it, eat it from the ground and they loved it. It. They were actually going off at it. They were loving it so much that they wouldn't stop eating it And this is my cheesecake right here. Oh my god Just look at this beauty right here the cheesecake vibe and as I said they were eating it on the floor So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> Pretend that it was on the floor good how it tastes here. We go the first bite of the Rachel and Chandler cheesecake Oh my god I don't know if I'm loving this because it's been so long that I hadn't have a cheesecake or because it's so good like look it literally looks like it was smushed on the ground but regardless of that it's fantastic actually it's incredible here's the little scene of them trying to eat it from the ground it's actually hilarious and they share a fork I think if I'm not mistaken I don't know why I got so emotional at the last episode because these people became my actual like fictional friends and here's a little challenge for you guys if you watch friends and you know what I'm talking about I have a little trivia comment the answer and your Instagram after it so I can follow you on Instagram or the MU so here's a question what is the name of Frost's monkey? 
Ross had a monkey. What was the name of the monkey? If you know the answer without Googling or cheating, don't cheat, you know, because if you're cheating, you're cheating on yourself. Just answer in the comments, what is the name of Ross's monkey that appeared in the Friends episodes? It is time. Go back to my house and see what my mom was making this whole time. I told her to please recreate the same exact thing Rachel had when she was trying to make the English triple pie. And it was a disaster. Let's go make sure it's built exactly the same way Rachel is building it in the show. Let's go and check it out. Now it's time for beef sauté and piece of onion. Okay, okay. Actually turning the way I want it to. More custard and banana. All right, that's Yummy. enough, that's enough. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the Lebanese way to cut the banana. Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have Rachel English triple pie right here that she made on the Thanksgiving dinner. I'm pretty sure Joey and Ross were bullying Rachel when she made that because who mixes custard with peas, onions, and saute, you know, and some jam. Maybe you can mix custard and jam, but why is there saute and peas in there and slices of banana? And I'm not too sure if they eat it in the show. Actually, I think they all run away and only Joey ends up eating this and loving it because Joey is Joey. He does dumb things and he loves the food. And now it's my time to shine and eat this. My mom exactly replicated every single step Rachel did. Signed up for this. Here we go. I feel like this is the only not too regular food that happens in France and it's the most iconic one. This is a very iconic episode. Oh my God. Taking a piece every single single layer I'm trying my best here I have everything in this one bite right here Mmm, mm. it's very unusual. I can taste the beef with the custard. It's not too bad, but I, I don't see someone eating this I'm gonna have some jam because I didn't get it last time. Oh my god. Those bites are big. I'm taking big big bites Mmm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually crazy. I don't know how people can eat that Actually, no one eats that. It's so crazy to eat. Mm. Mm. Oh, whole layer of English triple pie. There's nothing I don't like. You know, I love custard. I love meat. I love onion. I love peas. I love custard and the whipped cream. Literally, I like every single thing in here, but it's just very weird mixing it all together. I'm still eating it. Right now, it's literally time to move on to the next one because I don't think I can take this anymore. I'm gonna leave it. Maybe my mom will eat it or someone. You know, I don't throw food, so I'm gonna put it away. My mom's gonna enjoy this beautiful English triple pie. I never had an actual triple pie. I don't know what it looks like or what it tastes like. That's definitely quite the experience. And right now, let's go to the next dessert they eat on France. That was a disaster, and now it is time for a little dessert. Back to the dessert vibe because I considered this whole truffle thing to be like a lunch, you know, a lunch part of my day. Two delicious things they eat in the show. First of all, we have Phoebe's grandma's secret recipe. If you remember, she says the Nestle Toulouse. Nestle Toulouse. And um, for my French viewers and the French people know that Nestle is a company and this is where the cookies came from So I got the exact same thing cookies from France my Nestle Toulouse cookies just right here that Monica tried to recreate during the show But they couldn't because Phoebe ate the last piece of them Oh my god, it already smelled so good and it was the brand Nestle and there's another part of the show where Monica makes delicious candies for Halloween for the kids and whoever was knocking on their door the neighbors and all them they had Beautiful, she called them little drops of heaven. They taste like little drops of heaven. Oh, please. Little drops of heaven. So you know, they don't really show them in the show, but I tried to recreate them and I made my mom actually make those. Small bites of chocolate cakes, they look and taste amazing. They are right here. What a beautiful dessert. Come on, you can't get better than this. The best food of the show, I left it for the end. It's something Joey goes off crazy by eating it. I can't wait to show you guys, that's gonna be my dinner. But for now, this is the dessert vibe. I'm excited to eat it. I'm gonna start with the cookie. I'm very excited to try this. Such a vibe. They're so good. This is amazing. Oh my god. Mm. No wonder why they chose this brand of cookie to go crazy above them in the show. Oh my god, it's so delicious. I wonder what's gonna go down in the reunion. Is Gunther gonna be part of it? If you guys know who Gunther is, he's been there since the start to the finish. He's in love with Rachel. So I wonder, is Gunther gonna make an appearance? Comment down below what you think. And he's a nice character in the show. He's always funny. He's hilarious. He's so awkwardly funny. Before I get too full and too chocolatey because I don't have water, I always pay myself my videos and never get water. I always forget. I'm about to try these little drops of heaven that Monica made for the neighbors on Halloween. I have this little piece. But my mom is such a good cook. Good everything that has to do with food, she can make it. Literally, all I said is trying to recreate Monica's drops of heaven candies. She made me this whole thing. She's amazing. I know she's watching it, so shout out my mom. I love you. But yo, this is incredible. 
those little bites so amazing i imagine if i'm eating them and like you you forget what you have to say like right now all i want to do is just eat this and go take the biggest nap of my life but mm. Oh man, what do we have? It's time to eat something Joey's been eating because we've had everything. We've had Rasta sandwich, Rachel English truffle, and then we did Monica's Drops of Heaven sweets right here. Phoebe's secret recipe. Now it's time to have dinner and eat whatever Joey Tribbiani from the Friends show. Can't wait to show you guys what we're getting for dinner. I literally just drove 45 minutes to get to this beautiful dinner that I'm gonna have with you guys. Joey's favorite sandwich. Here. How good is that? Which of course it is the meatball sandwich. Joey and Chandler shared the moment. Chandler loved the sandwich. He wouldn't stop eating it. And right now it is time to eat the same exact sandwich. Well, kind of, because you know I live in Canada right now. Look at the delicious vibe, come on. Even though I'm in the car, it still looks so good. Look at the sauce, marinated in the sauce. Oh my God, the meatball sandwich sub from Firehouse Subs. Such a banger that I'm so excited to have it right now. Can't wait to have a bite. My mouth is literally actually watering right now. And here we go. No wonder why Joey don't share food. It's because it's fire like this. Oh my God, wow. This is one of the best sandwiches I've had. I'm about to eat this whole thing, wow. I'm not sure if they eat pickle with it, but I'm about to. Nothing is better than what's happening right now. Mm. Mm. Such a delicious meatball sandwich. Thank God for my friend Joey that he had the sandwich and I would literally eat the whole thing in the show. I'd forget all my script. I would move on and just be in love with my sandwich. It is so good. And if you watched the whole video from start to finish and you made it till this point, thank you so much, guys. I love you. Thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. Smash the like button. If you want me to do more show-related food, like eating the same food that they eat in a show. Today I did Friends because the reunion is coming out in the day or two and it's my favorite show of all time. Let me know what you want me to try and eat. Maybe like The Simpsons. Maybe The Simpsons could be a vibe or How I Met Your Mother or some show like that or Breaking Bad. I don't think that would end really good if I eat what they eat in Breaking Bad. Any show you want, comment it down below and I would be eating the food that they eat in that show. And friends, it was amazing. Such a good ride starting from Rasta Sandwich and ending it with Joey's favorite meatball sandwich. It's a vibe. But with that being said, this is all for today. I love you and as always, turn your haters to motivators. I will see you next time. Peace.